the louder we're going to get, hallelujah. Man, Isaiah 58, 1 says, Spare not, lift up your voice like a trumpet. Spare not, lift up your voice like a trumpet, hello, officer. And tell the house of Jacob their sins and transgressions. How's it going, officer? Good. Yes, sir. All right, as long as I don't get in trouble for going on their property. Yeah, that's kind of the issue is that you're doing this a little bit loud in front of their property because okay. you're on the sidewalk. I mean, not necessarily legal. Yeah, yeah. It's your First Amendment right, but the owners have called and complained about it. I know. So, I mean, would it be too much to ask for you to try and do this in a little bit more appropriate place? No, uh, this is appropriate, sir my first amendment like you said i mean i mean i'm gonna come back here again someday but i'm i'm gonna be here for 12 more minutes why 12 minutes because uh, i stay here for an hour because that's just what i do yeah. i've been here for 48 minutes but that's appreciate you 48 minutes? 48 minutes i appreciate you but i mean the bible says to go out into all the world so i can't just limit myself i i go to other places too so okay. i'm gonna stay here sir um but Appreciate you, and you know, I talk to cops a lot, and you know, it's just public sidewalk, you know. Um, but um, are you serving God? Do you know Jesus Christ? I'm serving the county right now. Well, good. Uh, well, I hope you're serving God on your own time because He's coming soon. What church you represent? You don't uh, no, no, no. Uh, well, I go, uh, I just started going to a church called uh, North Star, but okay. I, I don't like, I don't like, uh, I'm not under them, you know, I just like do my own thing. I team up with other street preachers. You probably, uh, have you heard about street preachers like in this area, really? Because I run into you guys all the time, but um, yeah, I haven't seen you before. My but guess is that not too many people call us to come and do with you guys. Okay. Typically, whenever people are asked to leave, they'll, you know, respect the owner's wishes. But yeah, in but your case, like you said, you're just exercising your rights. Yeah. No I how. mean, I in a sense, I respect them, but in another sense, I got to obey God. You know, if God sends me here, I got to obey him and his word. You know, I'm not going to be for, here forever also. Like, I'm only here one hour out of 24 hours. Um, and, you know, I'm just preaching the truth. I'm not cussing people out or anything. But some people take it just, that just as bad, preaching of the word. But you know what I mean. Can I uh, just ask you a, yeah. a question? Um, do you think that... Maybe your efforts might be better served uh, downtown, feeding the homeless I, type of I, I, Yeah, I've done that scenario. and I do that. Yeah, I do that, but I'm not downtown all the time. My efforts are done here and it's I, it's definitely shown. It's definitely shown. Um, I get, uh, my efforts are done here. That's all I can say. Yeah. Okay. The, Bible, right. sa the Bible says that, um, that his word never returns void. So anywhere you go, you know, you could go anywhere and preach the word and uh, something's going to be uh, accomplished. So that's what God says. So um, I trust in God. What's your name, officer? Kirkland. Well, thank you for coming here. I respect you. Sorry that you came out here, but I'm only going to be here. Well, we've been talking, but I'm just going to be here for 10 more minutes. So, so all right. Thank you. Well, thank you. You take care. Public speech is going to go away soon, so I got to I gotta do it while I can. I uh, know, me too. Amen. Well, guys, you know, I didn't come here to tickle your ears. I came here to give you the truth. I came here to give you the truth because I care about your soul. I care about your soul, guys. I don't want you to go to hell. I want you to go to heaven. God bless the police officers. Hallelujah. The Bible says that his word never returns void. Doesn't matter where I go, it's gonna it's gonna accomplish something. You know, if you get mad, that's just that's worth. If if I get one sinner mad, you know that's that's worth it. That's worth it. Or if I or you know make a believer happy, praise God, guys. The Bible says that many will be offended. Many people are offended because they want to stay in their sin. They don't want to follow God. They want to continue fornication and lying. Why do you want to continue that nasty junk, guys? Why do you want to continue disobeying the one that loves you? <sighs> Praise God.
Revelation 21 says that cowards, fornicators, liars, stealers. Let's just go to Revelation 21. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is the King. Is that Christian music going on there? All right, Revelation 21. Is that Christian knowledge right there? All right. All right, Revelation 21, 8. But the, but the cowardly, unbelieving, abominable, murderers, sexually immoral, sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars shall have their part in the lake of the, of the lake which burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second which is the second death. You don't want to face the second death, guys. You don't want to die in the spirit realm. Yes, you're going to die in the fleshly realm, but you don't want to die in the spirit. And even then, guess what? You're not truly dead. You're just burning in hell for eternity. Death constantly. You're going to keep on dying and, and your skin is going to replenish. Your, uh, those uh, nerves are going to replenish and you're going to be tortured again and again and again and again and again and again. Why do you want to go that route when you could go to heaven and have eternal peace, eternal joy and knowledge and wisdom with God? Just because you have a doctorate's degree or you're a doctor doesn't mean you're actually smart. You got to gain the knowledge of God to be smart. You got to keep his commandments. If you're smart, you're going to choose God's way. So many different ways to hell, but only one way to heaven. John 14, 6. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Amen. I hope you're obeying God. Jesus says this. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. No one comes to the Father except through Jesus Christ, guys.